Hey, what's good family? The stock market got absolutely hammered today. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the charts for SPY, QQQ, uh, kind of take a look at what happened today and really take a look at the technicals. But before we hop in and take a look at the technicals, I wanna show you some alternatives to trading options because on days like these, in times like these, when we have increased volatility and stocks are moving a lot, options contracts get expensive and really in my opinion it's not really worth it to trade options so without further ado uh, let's take a look at some options so to those of you unfamiliar this right here is qqq this is a popular etf that represents the nasdaq i want you to take a moment pay attention to his chart this is what his chart looks like after hours and this is what it looks like for the day massive drop at open then it kind of popped up and then trade it kind of sideways throughout the day. This right here is TQQQ. This is a leveraged ETF, a 3X leveraged ETF, representative of what the QQQ is. This isn't something you want to hold long term, but to me, depending on how much you're trading with, if you look at it in terms of percentage, this may be better than options, depending on what you're getting. Uh, right here you have, uh, right here a share of TQQQ is $58.69. Uh, you'll notice that this is up about three times more, or this moves about three times more than the QQQ. So right here you see it's down 7.29% of the day. The QQQ is down 2.39% of the day. And for those of you that do want to trade options, know that you can also trade options on these. They move similarly too, but once again, they're not going to move as rapid. So it's going to move in percentages. So right here, you can see it is up 7.38% on the day, but that's only 68 cents for this. So in this instance, if you were trying to grab puts, it may be better for you to grab some shares of SQQQ and trade that instead. Just wanted to take a moment to introduce this concept to you. Those of you who were unfamiliar with it, if this interests you, be sure to do your own due diligence but I just wanted to show you that these exist. If you've been watching my channel at all, you noticed, may have noticed I've been posting videos about the stock market potentially getting bearish. So I wanted to make this video just to kind of update you on where it is. So once again, since October of 2023, the SPY has been respecting this trend line. Every time we pulled back, we would bounce back up. I mean, really it's only been Two times this happened but this third time we broke through which means we now have a break in trend and in this moment the trend has broken but i do want to put some things on your radar uh, notice right here this right here this big candle right here this is a supply zone this is on the weekly chart as of right now we haven't broken through this supply zone yet so right now i would say anywhere down to 518 there is the potential of us still turning around reversing and making new highs i want to put that on your radar i want to let you know the stock market does not move in a straight line uh, let's also take a look at what happened the last time we were over here so right here respect the trend line we get a break over here the last time it happened was over here so we come in one touch two touch we get a little break over here like a, a small little break but this candle right here we get a complete break complete close below and then that's the beginning of the downtrend all right right here we have a low lower high lower low lower high lower high uh, lower low and really once we broke the trend line that was just the beginning of the downtrend a difference that i want to point out here is as of right now on the weekly we have not made a lower low we did close below this line but we don't have a complete candle below this so now looking down on lower time frames uh, on the daily charts we have a complete candle below this so now that we are below this i will look to continue to follow this trend line as resistance i will continue to look at these demand zones as areas to potentially buy but as for now on the daily chart we have broken into a downtrend the four hour we've broken into a downtrend 
and what is up next the weekly chart so so with all this information i want you to remember the stock market does not move in a straight line we did leave a gap up here notice we got a gap down here we came back up to fill it we got a gap down here and there is a good chance we will come back to fill it so with everything coming up I just want you to be prepared. I want you to see everything that could happen. Be aware that the stock market does not move in a straight line. It has its pullbacks, then the trend continuation. Pullback, trend continuation. Just know as long as we are in a downtrend, we will still have our pullbacks. So be sure to trade with the trend. Now going on looking at the QQQ, honestly going on looking at the QQQ, it's the exact same thing. My camera battery is about to die. So I'm actually just gonna stop this right here. If you enjoyed the video or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. If you're interested in getting 20 free stocks and haven't already, be sure to check out the Moomoo Moo referral link down below in the description. And if for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but sorry not least, Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.